Welcome back guys to Pokemon Moon as now. Growlithe leads the charge again as we've come back to the point we were after exploring the secret cave. Fighting a ton of monsters within with Darklix taking the lead at that point in time. We jump back in and there's surely only a couple of battles to go until we reach Cosmo. Or not because there's something cool here and we need to catch it. Is it just a bird or is it a plant? I do not know. Is it something to do with the cutie pie? Does it turn into that? Well, it's not super effective for starters. Let's catch it. A lot of bird Pokemon around, mind you. Why are you using helping hand? You've not got an ally at the moment, but I bet you're going to start calling in a ton in a second and really annoy me. All right, probably best use a great ball and try to get it before we end up with a stubborn Metapod situation. Oh, it doesn't want to get caught. It does not want to get caught. Well, we have no other way of attacking it. That's the main problem. Apart from, you know, great balls at this point, we're kind of stuck. Unless we switch, and that might not prove good for us typing-wise. Trying to catch things is the main problem here. Gravis taking a ton of damage, right, call for help. His help didn't appear, well that's great for the time being. Technically, if I send out Dartrix, does he take super effective damage from being pecked? Can't send Pichu, because of course Pichu is a little too strong. Dartrix could have maybe done it with Astonish. We'll send out Mustata. It's bound to take a bit more damage from that pound. Right, so we want something that doesn't do too much damage. But everything matches typing at the moment. So it's best to go with Quick Attack, I think. No KO. That's a really good level for throwing the Pokeball now. Really? You're like on the last legs of anything. As long as you don't call for help at this point in time. Really do a thunder wave or something. What? Are you rare? Is this something I don't know? You don't want to get in the ball. I'm not having the best of luck with these wild battles currently, am I? Especially because it keeps failing at everything itself. So at the same point in time... I didn't think a nest ball will be any good, even though it's, it's levels 10, we're higher than it. You're kidding. No, you're not. Well, we caught a new Pokémon again. And that's what the Let's Play's about. Explore all catch everything we see. Level 16 now for you. And what's the move Hyper Fang? I think you should learn that move. Right, so it's a normal move. Quick attack or focus energy. Do you know what? Even though it's critical, Hyper Fang has a high crit rate itself, doesn't it? Right, Growlithe grew to level 14 as well. They seem to be a high level Pokemon, that's for sure. Level 20. Okay, Oli Corleos. We've caught you, you're a single evolution. It creates an electric charge by rubbing its feathers together. It dances over to its enemy and delivers shocking electrical punches. Another electric Pokemon, eh? I'm glad it didn't have any water types or anything. Though I'm not sure if it had that move at that point in time. No, we will not. Just pain in the side. 
Another new one caught. It's probably pretty much everyone for the area now. Yeah, one more battle. At least we know we'll be able to take out this guy fairly fast. Especially because Growlithe's leveled up again. Use the Ember! I was level 12 though, so it's higher than most. Poor Growlithe. His HP really doesn't belong to him anymore. That took 5. You've got this though. Let's get out of the brush, finally. Look guys, it only took us half an hour, but we're there! Do you know what, as well? It wouldn't surprise me. Of course, we're probably going to get into a battle for going up here. So let's just top up a little bit of HP across the party. Because if I go straight to you, I bet it's going to cut me off from what's over here. Because we're going to take you back, aren't we? Alright, so let's get the goodies this side. Hopefully one ember can do this now. You. Fast battle, best battle. And Peach, you grew to level 18. Oh, so you learn the move Thunder Wave. Right then, forget a move. Alright, this time round. I think I'm gonna get rid of Charm. Because Thunder Wave is what we really need to catch some Pokemon at this point in time. Thunder Wave learned is a good move, finally. And you might find yourself part of the victim of an editing cut there, because along the path that I went there was nothing at all, and I fought some battles. But now we get ourselves a poison barb. Worth. I reckon it's going to take us back, and there's of course something shining in the grass there, and the flowers. One more bat before we can get that, and then Cosmog. A cutie fly. Let's get rid of that. Two embers I'll have to do because it's level 12. Gralith's running out of PP for ember as well at this rate. He's doing a good job, but can't really do it all himself. And now my special attack has fallen, but that will be fine. Because job's done. A critical hit, in fact. Could have done that on the first hit. But definitely one of those that give a little bit more experience. But then being level 12 helps with that. As we get another yellow nectar. Because we need to attract more Pokemon to us. Cosmog, we're here to rescue you. At last. Pew. Indeed. And as I thought, it's going to teleport straight over the other side, so exploring was the best thing. Oh, you! Thank you, Alessandri. And I should thank Ralph too. Here, let me at least do this. Healing? Yep. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Olicolio changed his appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Pew! So this is the yellow nectar form of Oricordio we're seeing here, so we might see different versions. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried about the way we just disappeared on him. So our task is finally complete. Hey, 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 Ozandri! Oh, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial, ha! <laughs> hey, Ozandri! 
I want to see if I really learn anything from my trail. Let me battle you again! Straight to a fight with the jamming music. It's not really a rival this time round because there's no bad blood whatsoever. Pikachu? You've got Pikachu before me? And I thought I was lucky just getting a Pikachu at random without even trying or knowing it was there. Everyone's got one. Ugh. Right. Go with Ember. The opposing Pikachu's growl. You can lower my attack. That's fine. I'm going to keep going with Growlithe because it seems that three of these will take him down. Unless he uses Thunder Wave. Electro Ball. Well, that's an interesting move. Probably something I've missed out on from Pichu being so high. Or maybe it's a TM. I don't know. Maybe it's special to his Pikachu. I like how Pikachu just takes it in the face and then like kind of like goes... Ugh. Ball. You could just fire it normally, like electric. I don't know. You didn't need to take it in the face, but Growlithe levels up to 15. More stats for him. Rest your team getting experience points. Rest your experience share. Grabbing uh, levels up. Right, Poplio. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yes. Because it's extreme type disadvantage. We could send out our Pichu versus Poplio at this point. Let's send Dartrix. It's rival battle, you know. We've got to show him that our one's evolved. And Poplio comes out in exchange. Poor Poplio. Doesn't know what he's in for, really. Leaf blades galore. That's Poplio down. Right, 150 experience points. And we are done. Pokemon trainer Howard's defeated. Oh man, I want to show off my Pokemon's best side more. He's more hardcore than me, beating that with two Pokemon. I thought I was the Pikachu trainer though. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, how is Andrew? That's how we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, Alessandri. Knew I could count on you, yeah! Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? How? You finished your first trial too? I you used some styling move here. Ha! <laughs> right. How is probably rubbing his hands together in glee right now about. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all a part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researched Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Key Town! Catch that Tailwind and Blast Route free! Well, I would have if, you know, this whole shebang hadn't happened. That's going back that way, is it? Finally, time for us to take on Hala himself. That's good explore, and I'm guessing this is going to move me on to another zone from here. Oh, no. Who are you? I'm a trainer who uses the red card item. I want to be shaken by your strength. I want to face you when you've shown that you can defeat every last trainer on Route 3. Haven't I already done that? Unless you're one of them. Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I think I'll give you something. A Sue Bell, why thank you? Thank you indeed. And Pokemon will feel even friendlier towards you if you give it that suit Bell to hold. Is clear shining sound? Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. I think that's what we kind of needed. So we'll take that. And we need to give it one. So we're going to give it the Soothe Bell. And try to make Pichu a little bit more friendly with us. Right, so up here there's a TM Hen behind these rocks. Urgh. And what about beating every trainer on Route 3? Unless Route 3 of course continues almost a little bit. Ah, maybe it's you. Wait, come back. I want to beat this red card holder, supposedly. 
I'll draw out the power of my partner, Growlithe, by hold giving it an item to hold. Oh no, it's Growlithe versus Growlithe battle. That is not the battle we were looking for. Rising star. You may be. But our Growlithe is significantly weaker than your one at this point. Uh, except it's been full healed again. Cool. But all the same, it's not like I can do too much. It's not very effective after all, pretty much everything I plan to do. Can't put in Grubbin because he's bug. Can put in Pichu, but he take probably too much damage. Hey, Makahita. Maybe it's time to finally use you. Hit with an ember? Shrug it off. Go on then, we've got Force Palm, which is a power 61. May also leave target with paralysis, or arm thrust which can hit multiple times. Let's use Force Palm, go for paralyzing. You're faster than Makahita as well. And the paralysis hits. It's going to be slower than me for the next turn. That should finish the job. Two powerful blows. And Makahita levels up himself. And anyone else? Nah, no worries. Being a trainer, I myself should have used an item. Well, you probably weren't expecting to be completely destroyed at that point, to be fair. You kind of were. The item you want a Pokemon to hold will change depending on how you want it to fight. Is that the last trainer on this trail? So you defeated all the trainers long route free, have you? You have shaken me from my calm repose. My heart was a still water, but no longer. Shall we start? Let's have a soul-shaking battle. I accept. That is a good reply. I will stand before you as a red card user. Whatever that is. You were challenged by Ace Trainer Makana. Sent out Rock Ruff. Again, that's not a good matchup. If it is rock versus fire, we don't do that great damage, do we? And it might have a move that's super effective against us. So Dartrix is going to have to be you. Doesn't rock hurt flying as well quite a bit. But I can return damage quite well. Stealth rock. Pointed stones float in the air around your team. Now doesn't that attack me if I switch or anything like that? You're faster than me, Rockruff. Well, take this. Super effective, you know. Right then, Ace Trainer. What have you got next? Send in a slow poke. I will not switch Pokemon. We know that Dartrix has this. And there's the stealth rocks around now. And that's still not job done though. Has a berry. Held up his red card. What? Is that what red card is? The stealth rock's gonna hurt me as well now. Point of stone's dug into Pichu. So you can make me switch with your red card? That's mean! All the same, I do have type effectiveness still. I was wondering if it would win. Don't make me fall asleep! I'm gonna fall asleep anytime now. Finish it! No! Critical hit time! Even it out! Pikachu! Wake up! I could use a... an awakening. Just 
just, I could just tell him to stop a second. I just need to rub my Pokemon with this uh, thermometer. It'll, it'll wake him up, but you don't need to worry about that. Come on, Pichu. It's all up to you. One more Thunder Shock to rule the world. Nicely done. And so we defeated Ace Trainer Makuna. To think that you've wounded my pride, which is harder than diamonds. You look way too built up as a character model to be nothing. It was a fine battle. My heart feels as light and clear as the blue sky that appears after a storm passes through. This is proof of the battle between your team and my own. A red card. Take it, my strong friend. You obtained a red card. You open up the item's pocket and put the red card away inside. The effects of the red card are as I illustrated to you in battle, very annoyingly. You will likely find other trainers like me on the route of Alola, searching for strength. Chancing them together with your Pokemon would not be a bad reason to take a journey. So I can just use the red card at any time. Is it like multiple usable, or is it only usable once? An item to be held by a Pokemon when the holder is hit by an attack the attacker is removed from battle. Interesting. Make some interesting strategy to make a forced switch happen and it's completely random as well. That could do quite a lot, I'm pretty sure. Well, it looks like we're not far from the Kuna's village looking at Rodex down in the corner. I say that at the bottom left is the main plinth. So we're finally there. The Kahuna battle to take place next episode because I'm going to pop back to the previous Pokemon Center and I think I shall pick up the reward for getting that little cutie fly, wasn't it? I'll see you there. Bye-bye.